Hi everyone, Travis Smith with Learn Roy Lee Photography and I just wanted to make a quick video about the equipment I'm looking at purchasing, specifically the camera. Uh, my budget for a new camera is right around $600. So I'm definitely looking to buy used, probably eBay. Now I'm looking to buy Canon just because I prefer Canon. I don't think Canon's better than Nikon or Nikon's better than Canon. Canon's just what I like. Uh, I can make a rant video later about Canon Nikon, but this isn't going to be it. Okay, so what am I thinking on a camera? I'm really looking at either the 40D or the 50D, and up until now, I have really been torn between the two. Uh, and just real quick, let me cover a couple things on the 40D versus 50D. First off, looking at the 40D and the 50D, there's really no body changes. It's the same body. Uh, with the exception of this little logo going from a 40D to a 50D. Also, on the back of the 50D, they have finally found a useful function for that instant print button. button. Um, it is now a dedicated live view button, which I think is excellent. Okay, so the main differences between the 40D and the 50D. 40D is a 10.1 megapixel camera. The 50D is a 15.1 megapixel camera, so there's a 5 million pixel difference. But to me, that's really not a big deal. I think the megapixel race really should have ended at 10 megapixels. Uh, unless you're doing cardboard cutouts and billboards, you don't need anything over 10, or maybe 12, 15 max, but I think right at 10, that should be good for 80% of photographers. Okay, so other than megapixels, DP Review um, says that the 40D has a little better low light performance at comparable ISOs to the 50D, but it was by less than a stop, I think. Okay, speaking of low light performance, the ISO difference between the 40D and the 50D. The 40D has an ISO range of 100 to 1600 with expandable settings up to 3200. I feel kind of like I feel on expandable settings kind of like most people do on digital zoom. I would, don't think I would ever use it. The 50D goes from 100 to 3200 native ISO, expandable up to 12,800. So the 50D definitely has an advantage in the ISO range. Now the, neither one of those really appeal to me a whole lot, the megapixels or the ISO range. What really appeals to me is one, the screen resolution. The 40D has a screen red resolution of, it's, oh, where is it on here? It's staring at me in the face probably. Anyway, it's um, 230,000 pixel resolution on the three inch, three inch screen. The 50D has the same three inch screen, but it has a resolution of 920,000 pixels. So you're gonna have a much easier time checking things like critical focus and everything over here on the 50D. Also, the 50D features autofocus micro adjustment for up to 20 lenses, I think. So if you're not going to be able to invest in the highest quality glass, you're going to be on, you're using, you know, lower end Tamron or Sigma. Not that there's anything wrong with those lenses, but they're a little known for having small autofocus issues. But with the Canon 50D, it is extremely easy to go in, set up an autofocus profile for each one of your lenses, and completely negate that problem. So that is very appealing to me. And also, um, I'm getting to the cool part in a second. And they both shoot right at 6.3 frames per second. Um, so that's not a deciding factor for me. They're both the same size sensor and all that fun stuff. Okay, so the price difference between the two. Right now, 40Ds are going on eBay for as low as $350 for a body only up to $500, depending on what extras are included. The 50D is going anywhere between $550 and $650, depending on the extras that are included. Uh, so the 50D is kind of at the top of my price range, and honestly, I had really still been considering going with 40D. I'm losing 5 megapixels, I'm losing that autofocus adjustment, and I'm losing a full stop of ISO capability. But I, I think it would still be a fine camera for what I'm going to be using it for, at least in the beginning, you know, portraits and things like that. I think the 40D would be fine. 
uh, but I kind of wanted a camera with video capability, but I didn't want to go down into the intro level cameras, and I didn't want to spend the $1,300 on a 7D. But now I'm definitely going with the 50D, and let me show you why. Magic Lantern, it, they've been working with the 50D for a while, and in August, I'm kind of behind the time, but in August, they made 50D capable of recording video. Pretty cool. 50D was not ever intended to record video. It, it has no video functionality. It doesn't have a built-in microphone. The people at Magic Lantern have worked extremely hard to bring really cool features to cameras like the 550D and the 600D, which is the T2i and the 600D, um, and then the 60D. All kinds of video functionality and really cool things like intervalometers, uh, great autofocus tools, all kinds of really neat things. Well, now they're all, almost all of them are completely functional on the 50D. There's, it's still in the development, there's still some bugs to work out, but it's fully capable of recording 30 frames a second at 1080p video. And obviously there's no audio, but there's ways around that. Okay, so this is a little video of the 50D uh, with the Magic Lantern. Um, installed and operating and my YouTube's not playing for some reason. I don't know what's going on with that. And then here, well here was a video. I'm sorry I was going to show you those videos but I'll put links to them if you want to go look at them. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, I think I have really decided to go with the 50D. I know it's more expensive by a couple of hundred dollars. Uh, but I think it's worth it, especially with this add-on of Magic Lantern. Uh, that is just too cool. Uh, and plus I'm just a complete nerd and you can make things do what they're not intended to do and do them in a really seamless way. That's just fantastic. Okay, anyway, um, that is my thought process on 40D versus the 50D. So I'm definitely planning on the 50D. And I'm very excited to get it. Hopefully I'll get it early December if I can wait until after Christmas. I might be able to get a better deal on it, but I, I think I am too impatient. I'm going to try, but it's probably not going to work. Okay, so if you have used both of these cameras or you have strong opinions one way or another, please post down below. Please let me know what you think. Um, as always, there will be more content coming, especially as I actually get equipment. That will be pretty cool. Uh, subscribe, um, because there will be more content coming. Let me know what you think. If you're kind of in the same situation I am, looking at buying some older equipment, uh, I hope this helped. If not, hopefully there will be something in the future that helps you. Anyway, thanks a lot. Um, I'll see you later.